consider them the best because their pride is in what they do. They always say once a Marine, always a Marine. Well, you can ask my wife that. I was drafted in the Marines, but it was the best thing that had ever happened in my life. Uh, we came out to see the and the preciseness of the moves. The history of the museum it came from a concept actually with General McKay and some of the other generals back in 1996. Working in this museum is easily a, a blessing because it's become more than just a, a job. You get to meet so many people with stories. You get to see what it really means to be once a Marine, always a Marine. They're not mannequins, they are cast figures. Took about six hours for the body mold. Individually depends on what you pose for. My mold particularly took five hours and they put some plaster around you. They mold you and put it around your face. So that's what makes it so real, the attention to detail. The Vietnam exhibit lets you see all the little details of coming out of a helo. The vibrations, the smell, the noise. The hut and some of the cast figures in there, they captured the people there as well as the Marines and integrated together so it can get both sides of the story. It gives you chills because it's very realistic. You step in there and it, it takes you back to boot camp. You get that same feel that you had that first time you stepped off the bus and you're introduced to a drill instructor. Some of the must-see items are metal honor recipients. It's easy to kind of walk by the punji sticks because it's just a little 12 by 12 hole. But you have to really put yourself in that perspective of that danger is always there. Most of the veterans say it brings back memories. The Marine Corps today, especially the men that are in it, are the best you're going to get. They definitely are true American heroes. I respect every one of them. Every time I see one, I thank them. It's not that I'm in the Marine Corps, it is that I am a Marine and this is what I do.